check this out for a second. This guy's name is American McGee. He's a uh, very talented car mechanic turned computer programmer. Um, check this out. Turned game developer who kind of floated around in the old school shooter space in the 90s, as early as Wolfenstein 3D before moving on to projects like Doom and Quake with id Software. Well, after leaving id in 1997, I guess he... That's a very important part right there, when you left id. ...joined in on the whole name brand thing we saw with John Romero. Yep. I'm sure we all remember the time that Romero decided that he was going to make us his bitch with Daikatana. Well, American McGee did the same thing. Firstly, with Alice, a third-person action game from 2000 that I remember being ridiculously yep. difficult. It's based off the classic Alice's Adventures in I never Wonderland. actually played that one, but I remember it was actually... I had a friend that played it that really liked it. look at the character and world. The uh, Cheshire Cat's horrifying smile has stuck <laughs> around with me for decades. Alice would get a sequel, Madness Returns, that I really want to talk about at some point, but that 11-year period where Mr. McGee was attaching his name to every project he had was interesting. I think easily the most ambitious, though, would be the first game by Spanish video game developer yep. Mercury Stream, American McGee's Scrapland. Yeah, that's Metroid Dread, by the way. The original Xbox had a handful of exclusives huh. that have gone under the radar as hidden gems, and I think Scrapland is one of them. It's this space know that. robot adventure that's packed with personality and weird quirkiness. I've never actually it's seen got this. this big open space colony world that you have the ability to fly freely huh. around between missions. You even have to run from space cops here and there. I that's remember enjoying this, but I think it got a little buried by other big 2004 releases like Half-Life 2, yeah. World of Warcraft, yeah. Half-Life 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, and <laughs> Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Did you just hear all those launches in that year? There's that didn't stand a fucking chance. What you do have is a pretty decent G.